based on our original photoreactor design. The Photo Redox Box TC or temperature control is designed to work with a standard chiller or heater unit to perform photocatalytic reactions at control temperatures between 0 and 80 degrees Celsius. The Photo Redox Box TC can accommodate a wide array of vial sizes and is compatible with most stirring plates. Chiller or heater units are attached to the Photoredox Box TC using the recirculating ports on both sides of the unit, while the unique reaction chamber geometry ensures maximum light exposure. Key features include The Photoredox Box TC accommodates most light sources, including a large selection of Avalu-Chem brand options. Vial holders are available for 20, 8, 4, 2, and 0.3 milliliter formats. The unique chamber geometry evenly distributes light. It is compatible with most standard stirring plates. The aluminum-based body and watertight reaction chamber includes recirculating ports designed for use with a standard chiller or heater unit to enable reactions between 0 and 80 degrees Celsius. There is a wide array of pre-designed catalysts and reagents available. When you are ready to use the Photoredox Box TC, place your chiller unit near the photoreactor and connect the chiller unit's flow end to the photoreactor's entry port and the suction end of the chiller unit to the photoreactor's exit port. The ports are designed to accommodate 3 eighths tubing. Once everything is connected, initiate flow to the photoreactor and monitor the reaction chamber as it fills with fluid. The chamber will hold approximately 200 milliliters of fluid before reaching the overflow hole in the exit chamber which connects to the exit port. It is best to maintain a relatively low flow rate while you are filling the main reaction chamber and waiting for it to engage with the exit chamber. As the exit chamber begins to fill, the pressure will start to increase until it is forced through the exit port and returns to the chiller. Once the pressure has reached equilibrium and you have a steady flow through the reaction chamber and out of the exit chamber, you can modify the flow rate as appropriate. With the flow rate set, the chiller can now be adjusted to the appropriate temperature for your experiments. Now you can place your reaction vials into the reaction chamber with one of our multiple format vial holders and conduct your reactions. You'll notice that the vials are being engaged by the stirring plate and there is a steady flow of temperature controlled fluid through the photoreactor.